I saw was smoking fire. I didn't feel a thing. When Keith Urban wanted to do the end title song on An Act of Valor, we were more than pleased. It's like we were fans of Keith's. And when he really understood the film and told us what he wanted to do, and so we'll go, we gotta do a music video around this. I would give my life. For you, really came about from uh, responding emotionally from the film, and hopefully, we've captured it in this song. I got a call from my agent, and she said, we have this job, it's for Keith Urban, and they want you to cut in an Adobe Premiere. And my immediate response was, I don't really use Adobe Premiere. And she said that they expected a little learning curve, but they wanted to see how I did with the software. All right, let's go ahead. So we actually shot the music video, the files were organized, and the next day, they were with the editor. I had no real experience with Premiere, and no idea how to use it. But by the end of the first day, I wasn't cursing anymore. And by the end of the second day, I felt comfortable. Go to the first explosion. There you go. Three days, he was all shortcuts and flying through it. And I was like, hey, you like that premiere, don't you? Having worked in Avid for 12 years, I am very used to that interface. And what I liked a lot about Premiere is that there's a lot more functionality in the timeline. It's more tool-based. I was really impressed at how everything's real time. Everything's quick. It runs well. There's not a lot of rendering, a lot of funny business. The music video was shot using these new cameras, the Arri Alexa and the Canon C300. Now, because the film was coming out, we had like a two-week turnaround to do the music video. So I didn't want to waste any time on transcoding. With Adobe Production Premium CS6, you have almost virtually every single digital camera format being supported natively in the timeline. And you also have hooks with NVIDIA's CUDA graphics card using the Mercury playback engine to accelerate playback performance. There was no playback lag. It's a very responsive program. Some of the wide stuff can be cool. You have the ability to open all these file formats natively in their full color space without shifting the color in any way that may affect how the image looks when you export it. When you're working in full res material, you can see everything exactly the way it is. See this shot here. There's much more keyboard shortcuts and the ability to put an adjustment layer on a track that applies to the clips below. There's much more intuitive workflow enhancements. There's a new trimming tool that allows you to dynamically trim in and out points without adjusting sync of other areas. Everyone sort of came up to me in the hall and said, what do you think? And my answer was always, it's great. It's super smart, it's fast, and it's efficient. It integrates well with the other programs that Adobe offers, and that's pretty special.